Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, the Spaced Out DLC. My name is Twitchy and we are on the L <laughs> LV426. Yes, that's right. We are on the lookout for a crashed alien ship out here. We've got to keep ourselves frosty and on our toes but first we have got this whole bunch of red lines around here we've got food issues we've got stress issues i'm not really sure that our colony is fit to survive into the future so i think we should probably try go ahead and try and address that the first thing i'm going to do is go ahead and set this up to a high priority we need to get this gas line sorted so that the uh, oxygen may flow that's pretty nasty looking there. Another thing I'm going to do to try and address the stress, if I press my decor button up here, oh, this one, uh, you can see that it's, pre it's pretty nasty just about everywhere and the majority that is uh, contributing to that, not only the microbe musher, not only the bog bucket, but all the debris, the 50, minus 50 debris everywhere. And the majority of that debris is actually polluted dirt. So I'm going to come up to our composter over here, the composter site over here, and put down a storage bin. I would like this to hold all of my polluted dirt. Of course, We've got to wait until our duplicates can come around and do... Oh, look, we've got a spillage and do those orders. Let's uh, let's get that mop going. <laughs> look at that spike where the morning growth happened. All right, we've got five duplicates. Let's make ten mush bars. That should work out well for us. I would also like to come into my research and come all the way down. Oh, we've got to hang up. We'll go all the way down to the bottom of the screen here because there are things to make our environment just a little bit nicer to work in. Things like plant pots and carpeted flooring. But we're just going to go straight for the marble sculpture. Uh, sorry, not the marble sculpture, just the sculpture block here. I don't know if we have an artist amongst our group right now. I, I believe not. I believe not. No, nope, the only one who even talks about it is Bishop, and he's like, nah, 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 I, I don't want anything to do with that. So maybe when we get our food stabilised, we will bring an artist in to uh, start making this place look a little bit nicer. I'd also really like to pick up all this stuff here. I've got a feeling this is going to take a while to tidy up. Oh, I've caused a problem with the way I've laid this out here. We need to move this tile over one and move my hydrogen generator over one. It's uh, blocking us going down this ladder. Oh, Hicks is looking rather worse for wear on the stress as well. If we uh, get time today, if not next time, we'll uh, try and make a nice little rest and relaxation area for people. I think it'd be quite nice. A massage table, some nice pictures up on the wall, somewhere to go have a drink. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be very nice. Very nice. Okay, that's that little issue dealt with. What else are we going to deal with today? Of course, it's food. Over here, I've been getting myself a few little bit, a few little planter boxes down. It's not enough, though. Nowhere near enough. I think we need to build ourselves a nice little area over here. And I think the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to get a pneumatic door out. We're going to place this over here. I'm going to get another wash basin. I'm not expecting many people, oh, press the copy button, to actually be coming through this way. So I'm just going to seal off this toilet like this. And then we've got a, a way to come through to the farm area, or at least the potential. Uh, potential farm area over here. We could have a, a rack of uh, dirt boxes, planter boxes here, another one here, and then a third here. And that should be quite nice. We could probably make a farmer's bedroom inside this room here. Do these give ample decor? Let's have a look. Yes. So we'll put a bedroom down here. Let's have a look. We've got in furniture. Oh, look, we got all of these done beautiful. We'll get a cot down. We'll pop that down there. We'll think about the ceiling light. I'm not sure whether that's something we actually want. And now that we've got to place these boxes down, I'm not sure whether this is where we want these either. But we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll make some decisions as we're building. Oh, that's right. We noticed last time that maybe the massage table isn't a thing anymore. Where else could it be kept? I really should remember. Like, Was it in this line? Doesn't look like it. Hmm, even the, oh no, that's not quite right. Even the search shows up that there's nothing here. So I'm going to assume that's not a thing anymore. We just need to make the ambient area more lovely to be in. Okay, we can work on that. I'm going to start with flower pots around. Just trying to make this place a little bit nicer. Wherever there is a serious uh, uh, concentration of, of red, I mean, that is, that is pretty nasty. We'll try and surround the area with some niceness. I mean, look, we've got, we got a bed here that could really do with just sprucing up a little bit. I mean, to be fair, I think this bed is somewhat temporary. It's Hicks. No what? No wonder he's going crazy. He lives in an absolute hellhole. By the water tank, no less. What about these? Do these add or subtract from the decor? Then the planter boxes are just terrible. Farm tiles, anybody? You know, I've never, never had to care about this before. Another reason to crack this open is we've got a bit of a carbon dioxide issue on this floor, so let's try and fix that as well. It might still be a red line, but it's not a red line at zero. I would say we're coming up on the food stakes. You've got to take your victories where you can, right? 
Oh dear, we've had a whole bunch of liquid just appear here, and I think the problem... Uh, we've, we've got a whole bunch of brine ice and stuff like that. Why why aren't these being picked up here? Let's, uh, let's really panic people on this. Okay, everyone's now running away despite the alarm, so I'm going to assume that they've picked up all the brine ice. Beautiful. Now we just need them to come along and uh, mop all this up. Yeah, I got so focused on the problem. Look, what, what happened here? Sedimentary rock is... Well, what, what, how? How has this happened? We need that there, we need that there, and I'm going to push full alert. Wow, I'm not sure how that broke taking a few cycles just to get a few jobs done like getting the pipes built by putting up these marshmallows getting these uh composters dug that we've had up here for a while and of course at some point we'll crack into the farm but it turns out they want to want to prioritize everything else first and i'm, I'm gonna let that happen because these are jobs we've had kicking around for a while now Coming into the research, I am definitely going to be asking for the insulated tile and the space heater because if we come out here and have a look at the temperature overlay, I mean, it's just not even nice for Bishop to be here. He is cooling down. Also, we are losing some bog buckets from the body temperatures here. That's that's just not acceptable. I know we're going to be moving them over here, but even still, it's just not acceptable. Talking of Hicks, man, you, you've been working at this for nearly two days now and you still haven't quite got all these composters up. I know you did come along and do this, though. He managed to cap this up for us. That's pretty cool. We opened this area up just a little bit but I, I still want these composters done why, why are they so like neglected oh finally we got ourselves all the composters down uh, when when we get the food sorted we're gonna need a, a hudson to go with hicks we need another builder digger oh man it's just taking too long to get stuff done Oh, I built a second bed for Jonesy and suddenly, well not a second bed, an extra bed so we can put Jonesy in and suddenly we've got an achievement. Bang! Ben and Bath have at least one toilet in the colony and one bed for every duplicate. Do we have one? I kind of disagree with that assessment. All right, Higgs has finally made his way around here to start digging this bit out. We're going to start putting down some farm tiles. I want to see what the effect on the decor is. Uh, I know the planter box is pretty bad, like minus 50 a piece. Now, I'm not about that. Or minus 10 a piece with five with the minus 50. That, that makes a little bit more sense. So, yeah, what do the farm tiles do? Unfortunately, you do not get told in here. It just It's not one of the things that doesn't get mentioned. It's, it's a kind of disappointing. Yeah, the database tells you all the seeds you can use, but nothing about what the uh, the decor is. Dis yeah, very disappointing. Okay, so we got the insulation... Oh, no, 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 didn't want to click that. Well, wow, look at all of this now. So we got the insulation tile uh, for trying to sell everything else. But of course, we've got some, like, major problems. E even if we go and replace all these tiles with insulative tile, we've got, like, doors and things like that that get in the way. Now, I have got some designs that help us work around that, but we need to get some research done, and mostly we need to get all of this kind of all automation underway. Uh, in particular, yeah, ore gates and stuff like that. So we need to click all the way down here and get this done. Thankfully, the research, the one part of the base that we are truly excelling at. Food, food, food's on the way, though. We're, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. Food's on the way. Okay, first farm tile has gone down, and it is not reading on there at all. Okay, cool. Does this, does this mean that they are just, just flat, not even giving us? Yeah, I, th I, think that's, I think that's what we're saying. Look, total decor, zero. Yeah, all right, cool. Obviously, we need to, need to sweep everything up. Just a few cycles later, and we've got most of the farm laid down. We do have a horrendous amount of debris on the floor, but that's why I'm building these storage bins down below. But the other problem we have, the other problem is uh, diagnosed by these guys up here. Growth halted. There's no pressure. Why is there no pressure? Oh, it's because we've just opened up a huge area, isn't it? And look, there is literally no pressure. So we need to try and increase that. I believe we have something in here, though. The sublimation station is the one that I am looking for. Oh, it's actually quite small. Okay, that's, that's fine. How about we put it down uh, uh, here. Let's put it right here. I like that's quite a high priority as well. I've got a feeling we are also going to need our own little power station over here. Oh, we have access to coal now. Okay, we should have a look into that. Uh, we've got no hatches here, but I've got a feeling just through here there might be another one, and I wonder how we can send them back. Hmm. <laughs> Lol, complaining about low pressure. What's the first thing I do? Build an exercise station up there. Yeah, let's send some duplicates up there for some heavy cardiovascular exercise gonna be great how would this be anything but high level training okay i alerted my way into getting hicks into the wheel there we've got some battery building up so now we've got the sublimation station jones oh no random randomers uh, here he comes we, we've got some deliveries going down is it was polluted dirt was it not uh we'll watch that go in there all right beautiful does it tell us down below there we go polluted dirt at minus two degrees wow we should uh probably try and get the temperatures raised up for all of that but it's put in half a kilo ish and we're getting a whole bunch of gases out it is only polluted oxygen unfortunately but 
That that's better than nothing. We can, we can work with that. We can work with that. In fact, I'm going to build a cheeky temporary airflow tile there. Get a deodorizer out and can oh, oh, cl click a few two times a few times too many and go across with my power there. That should also help clear all that up. Oh, that that would be great. That would be great. Chewing through the power though. And another achievement. Which one did we get? I didn't even hear that come in. Okay, let's have a look. Oxygen not included. Distribute 1,000 kilograms of oxygen using gas vents. I think that's a new one. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. We did, we, did, we did a thing, guys. We did a thing. All right, we get a nice little breathable bubble here. And, and the pressure is high enough for all of our plants to be growing. Ah, oh, beautiful. Well, with the farm all but finished, we'll probably put another level on top. I suppose it only really leaves us one thing to do. Bang! Yeah, let's turn this all the way up. We've got a whole bunch of debris that needs to be swept up off the surface here. It's really causing some decor problems for Ripley inside her, her little room here. Negative 80 on the debris. It's not what we're about. We need to try and make that better. So we're going to send everyone to start sweeping around. I'm not sure if we're even going to be able to clear off this first floor with the number of storage containers we've got here. I guess we'll just have to wait to see of course the whole time we're doing this we're not dealing with things like food and breathability and batteries and crops and etc but uh we, we we need to get this done just a small issue with bishop actually starving so i need to kind of get these guys going really really fast to uh, come along and harvest this worked out all right though in the end uh, hopefully as soon as these get done hopefully bishop's not gonna die in the time it takes to do that no uh where, where are you? There, there you are. All right, come on, come on in, buddy. There we go. Beautiful. Let's turn this alarm off, shall we? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I pushed them too hard. Uh, we've got to let them go to the toilet. I don't normally... Uh, normally, I wait for half the day, but that turns out it was too long. Uh, too long pushing them. We've nearly got all the debris kit picked up, though. Nearly. We'll, we'll get there. Okay, with the majority of the farm tidied up, I think it's time to come and look at these guys because they have not done anything for a long time. I think we're going to deconstruct those. Are we on buildings? We are beautiful. Let's just get rid of those. That will give us a whole bunch of seeds to deal with. Uh, we can go put them over in this farm over here. We've also got this polluted water to worry about. I think I'm just going to try and drop it into this hole here. It's probably going to be the best and safest way of dealing with it. Oh, here it goes. Away it goes. Right, beautiful, beautiful. It should mostly end up in this hole over here. It is quite a way to spread out, though, so we're going to lose quite a bit to uh, moppage, but I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I'm not okay with how much came up here, though, uh, and let's just let's just start the cleanup process. Oh, guys, that's, that's not going to work. Oh no, oh no, the Swedels are getting out. Ah, I was kind of hoping they wouldn't be able to make up this too, uh, too high gap, but it turns out no, there's no no problem for them or whatsoever. So they come along and add all my sulfur in there. Uh, okay, I guess we're going to have to make a little holding pen for them at some point. Maybe up here? Up here looks great, actually. Uh, let's get some ladders involved. Sweetle tending. So sorry, what? What are these guys doing to my plants? Sweetle tending. A sweetle rubbed against this plant for a tiny growth boost. Five plus. Oh my god, guys! We get these plant. Get these creatures in here. Oh my gosh. Let's forget these ladders. We're not going to be moving them there. We might move some down here though. Well, by the time all the tiles got put in place, we actually ended up with only one Sweetle in there. I'm not sure if that's a bad thing, actually, because we're going to end up with only a few of the bog plants in here. We're going to end up with more down below, so maybe we can dig them down and let them in this way? I, th I think that's what I'd like to do. But there are other things we can do to improve this area here, and as with most things in Oxygen Not Included, it's going to start with some research. At the top here, we've been talking about it. Let's get this agriculture one. This will give us a farm station to plop down and also the hydroponic tiles so we can uh, get some water going straight in there. We're definitely going to need to improve our polluted water output. <laughs> I'm going to have to do something quick and nasty. I'm going to throw down a rock crusher right here. It's probably going to actually end up drawing more power than my system can provide. No, no, we're doing okay. I think it's this side that actually draws just a little bit too much every now and then. Yeah, we can go up to 100, uh, 1,200 watts on a 1,000 on a watt wire. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that works out. <laughs> No way to know that Sweetles would do that. Not a single thing in here, the Sweetle tending. Uh, it just, only by accident would you find out. Wow. Okay, so we've got the Rock Crusher made. Let's make a bunch of copper so that we can make some 
uh, automation devices. I need like a temperature sensor and a space heater here. We need a uh, a hydro sensor. Oh, do we even have that? I don't think we do. I don't think we have a way of measuring how much liquid is in here. Uh, so we can open and close this door here. That That's, mm, that's going to be very important. Okay, we have just had the research pop in and that's going to give us a whole bunch of wonderful things here. I want to come to the station and go to the farm station. I want to know, will it sit on top of? Yes, it may very well do. I was going to put it over this side, but if it can sit on top of doors or maybe even another tile. Let's deconstruct this one here. Let's uh, get this also deconstructed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll put down the tile, we'll put down the farm station, and then Ripley literally just has to wake up, walk downstairs, and be at work. I'm sure she'll love that. Ah, it was staring at me the whole time. I do have a hydro sensor. Hmm, I need to deal with it pretty quick because our water system might fail at some point. Okay, so now we have the room bonus from the greenhouse, which actually enables the uh, the farm station here to be used. I can't remember what actually needs to be put inside it to make it stuff, but anyway, it's going to make some fertilizer and go around and increase the growth rate of these bog, uh, bog buckets. And also, these sweetles are going to go around and improve that. That's amazing. That's great. What what an interaction. I love it. Oh, look, I brought a new Sweetle into, into the fold. He got dropped down on the bit of sand there. Oh, that's, that's amazing. I like that. Well, well, welcome to your new home on a bit of carpet tile. I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, can we override these yet? No, we've got to go through and delete each one individually to replace them. Ah, oh, I, I remember this being really bad. <laughs> Okay, we're taking a little bit of a gamble here. I'm going to start switching over to this, uh, this this pumped water, pump polluted water. I'm a little bit worried that what's going to happen, oh, especially if we do it like this, uh, is that we're going to run out of polluted water. And that's going to be a little bit of a problem. We do have very, very cold polluted water up here. And that's what I'm trying to sort out the, uh, the hydro sensor for here. Uh, what I need is this one to just basically control the outer doors. Uh, when there is, when there is water, close them. When there's not, open the doors. But the middle one needs to kind of follow a different pattern. When the door, when there, when there isn't water, it just wants to open up. But when there is water, it wants to close and then open, uh, creating a vacuum inside. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. So we got the farmer's touch from Ripley going around and spreading the fertilizer on it. That gives us an extra 100% on our growth cycle. That's pretty cool. And then the Sweetle also stacks with it. Oh, that was, that's amazing. Now, I really want to put a liquid tepidizer in here. The big problem is, the big problem, they take 900 watts of power. I'd have to set up my own. Well, I'm going to do it, but we'll have to figure out a better way of doing it later. One of those, throw down a battery. Do I have a large battery? I have a large battery. Let's do that as well. Connect it up, and then that should help warm this up. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think that's a, a good system to be going with forever. Uh, another thing is I've got the extension to the, the, the line here that's going to enable this to uh, close and then open. When this goes red, these will output a green signal after a set amount of time because of the buffer gate. Though now that I'm thinking about that, that wants to be a filter gate. Because that, that way, when it turns green, it holds on for a little bit. And that's exactly what I want. I want it to be able to close the gate before it opens. We'll continue out putting a red signal if the green signal did not last long enough. Yeah, that, that's the one. Uh, let's just turn that around. All right, beautiful. I'm a little worried we're about to start freezing some water in these pipes. We're at minus four, minus five, stuff like that. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be tight. It's going to, yeah. Why did polluted dirt just fall out of here? Okay, the cold damage has stopped. We're gonna have to disable this building. Let's get Bishop off of there. We can't We can't have that uh, pump, pumping ice through. It just won't work. Okay, so if below zero, send a signal. Now this middle one should open, right? Oh, so, something's gone a little weird. Hmm, I need a way of making sure this doesn't backtrack. I see what's gone on here. There needs to be an ore gate. We know this, we've done this before. Hmm. This is going to get interesting to get to. We can definitely get to this automation wire, but I'm not sure about the rest. Okay, this should do it, hopefully. <laughs> oh, no, Hicks. That, that's really not the way to go. Oh, I see I see why. Okay, let's wait till you get back outside. All right, then we go below, and hopefully now the inside. There we go. Beautiful. Perfect vacuum if this was insulated. I've got to be honest. I was kind of hoping the water wouldn't force its way down and up this way. Oh, well. <laughs> We'll turn it into an opportunity and uh, add a little bit more power out this way. I'm hoping that it can support both this and however much draw the, uh, the, the odorizer takes. 
So the Depodizers seem to have done quite a good job. It's brought us up to just below freezing fairly quickly. The problem we've got right now is that the pipes are still full of fairly... Oh, it's all cleared through. Beautiful. So we just need to repair this pipe, in fact, and then we'll be back up and running. Beautiful. All right, now we just got to see whether it is sustainable when the door opens. I'm also working on a little bit of research back here. I want this temperature sensor. I bet you can understand why. All right, we had that last bit of research coming. Beautiful. We're going to go to the automation, the thermo sensor. We're going to knock that down so we can tell what temperature the water is inside here. Seem not to be having to wait a little bit too long for them to come along and fix it, though. End of cycle, always. <laughs> Okay, temperature sensor. We want it turning on if above minus two. Let's let's, let's say that. I, I could say zero, but I, one thing I've learned in this game is don't over chill if you don't need to. Don't uh, trying to trying to keep things at a certain temperature. In, in this case, it's actually don't overheat, but generally you're trying not to over chill uh, because you, you're just wasting energy at that point. It's all going to go into a system that may or may not even care what temperature it is beyond being not frozen. Uh, so, and that's exactly what happens here. We've got our cold, cold slush geyser throwing out a bit of polluted water. I love it. Minus nine degrees, though. We pass it down through this little corridor here where we get the liquid depodizer that warms it up. If it is over a certain temperature here, the green signal goes to the pump to tell it that it's A-OK -okay to carry on and pump through, and a red signal goes down to the depodizer going, whoa, you cost a lot of power. Please hold on. The water then gets passed through. We have a little nice little bypass going down here. Here feeding onto my farms over there. Uh, the farms, of course, were the main thing that we worked on today. We got ourselves an entire surplus of calories on the go. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where maybe, maybe it's about time we made use of these teleport pads. Maybe gone up to see what this thing is up on the very top of our screen here. But I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.